light. The delicate and mysterious magic that has captivated us since ancient times. Every flicker of a light bulb, every flash of an LED sparks a sense of wonder and awe within us. Light has the power to transform spaces and moods, revealing their hidden facets. It's like an artist's magical palette, shimmering with all the colors of the rainbow, creating an enchanting atmosphere in our homes. And fire, it's something you could watch forever. The dancing tongues of flame and the shadows they cast are mesmerizing and captivating. This ancient element of nature brings not only warmth and light, but also a sense of eternity. Even when the flame goes out, it leaves behind its memory, a warm glow that holds the memory of how it once burned. Today we have an abundance of beautiful materials at our disposal that inspire creativity. Recently I received new filaments from eSun, Epla Magic and Luminous PLA, marking the beginning of something special. The new filament opened up new horizons in my creative work, leading to a flurry of ideas. One of these ideas was a nightlight, realized in two stunning variations. The first is a classic lamp with simple light, and the second is a unique flickering candle. But the most remarkable feature is the luminous plastic that continues to glow even after being turned off, filling the room with a soft, magical light. In the world of LEDs, we have access to a plethora of special effects to create unique pieces. By combining several technologies, I created a lamp that merges light and fire. In other words, magic. For printing this model, I used the irregular wall mode in the slicer, which added a special texture and effect. The lower part of the model was printed using the irregular wall mode to create an interesting visual effect while the section connecting with the lampshade was done in a simple mode with smooth walls. For your convenience, the pre-prepared file already has all the printing parameters set. You only need to adjust the settings to match your printer and materials. The file is available in 3MF format for download, as well as in STL format for those who prefer to prepare it themselves. Remember, printing the lampshade requires support. The first time I used a grid pattern, which turned out to be quite laborious, as removing that type of support was challenging. In the current file, I've used simple support, which greatly eased the post-processing. In the video, I assembled both lamps in my spare time, without following sequential steps, but you can still catch some features if you have questions about how to. Enjoy your creative journey, and may light and fire infuse your creations with a special kind of magic.
If you like this thing, let me know by putting like. Are you still here? Haven't dozed off yet? Is the video too long? Well, I'm looking forward to your comments. I'd also be grateful if you could give my work a thumbs up. On the project pages, you'll find links to materials and some tools that I use. The actual links are in the video description. Thank you for watching. You'll see more if you're subscribed to the channel.